Be sure to visit my Facebook group, Hollywood Shono Gaming, for the latest gaming needs. Also, check out my Twitch at Hollywood Shono and my Hollywood Shono YouTube live streams for all premieres of past live streams on Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the all ages high with Shono here. About to give you the Day 20 progression video for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As promised, on Monday we're going to be doing 7-day follow-ups to the progress within the game. So now, as you guys can see, we have currently done 16 Galactic Wars. So it took us like 4 or 5 days to hit level 40, which is not that bad. Especially with all the bonus and free energy and dailies and whatnot. Currently in the arena, I'm at rank 596, and you can see the quality of opponents I'm getting, even though I'm only at about 17 to 19,000 PI with my Phoenix team and still badly hurting for ability materials. As far as the light side battles go, we are all the way done with Chapter 6 hard. There are only five fights. All of normal is completely three-star. As far as the dark side goes, all of Chapter 5, hard and normal, fully 3-star. Can't do Chapter 6 until level 59, so we have a little bit of ways for that. Also, the mod battles. Everything up through Chapter 6 is 100% 3-star. Thank you, allies, for that. And you can see we have a couple fights in Chapter 7 left at 3-star, but the important thing is that the important parts of Chapter 8 are 3 star, and we have 3 fights left to go. So altogether, we have 5 fights left within the mod battles to fully 3 star. And we can't do Chapter 9 until level 80. And I'd like to thank all those overpowered allies for making that easy to happen. Let's get some ducks. There we go. <clears throat> did it! It's another three star. Hell yeah. Yes. A good defense is a solid offense. Cool. So we just have potency and speed. I imagine speed is going to be 80. Let's try it. Fuck potency. I want speed. It's probably going to be 80. No, 75. Those speed mods are going to be huge if we can get uh, C-tier mods. Should probably stagger the TIE pilot and get rid of them. Okay, Dooku took a shot there. Okay, that's fine. Go on. Alright, one round done. Yeah, we might be able to do this. Depending on how these later waves become. Let's try to stun. Nope. Let's try again. Nice. Stun the first order officer. Got a shock though. Not gonna stun. They're hitting Garazeb. That's the tankiest one. Not want to mess with Garazeb. Okay. I'm gonna take a hit here. No. Yeah, I, I got a hit with him. Wanted to see if I wanted to put some protection on somebody, but no. Okay, so we got First Order Officer, Resistance Trooper, and Pilot. I'm gonna put this on Dooku now. Gotta stun the officer. Did not stun. Let's go for a stagger. Oh, that was some heavy damage on Ezra. Let's go for the stun. Did get it. Very nice. Take out the resistance trooper, go after the pilot next. So once we control it down to one, it's easy to just stun lock the whole time. Uh, let's get some protection on Dooku. We managed to recover. Get rid of the pilot. I'm going to save my dot. Ability block is nice. Okay, hit Vader, that's fine. And gone. Okay.
No elites. Nice damage. All of them double attack. Oh my god, they're all stunned. That's fine, they wasted a turn. Purge the buffs and get rid of them. Oh, that's beautiful. Wasted another turn. Oh, that was so good. Can we three-star the speed mod, ladies and gentlemen? Can this hodgepodge Phoenix random team beat up another Captain Phasma? Level 75 boss. Wasted a turn there. Let's see if we can get a Dooku stun. Nope. Let's try again. Yep, there we go. Wasted a turn. Let's get a stagger. Okay, there's... Something went away. Did he get stunned again? Oh, yeah. That's a three-star, ladies and gentlemen. Give me those speed mods. Fuck the campaign. Oh, it's juicy, boys. It's juicy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Suck it. Now, as far as mod challenges go, you can see all the challenges are also three-starred at Tier 1. And I'd like to thank my Phoenix team missing Cannon Jars and adding Count Dooku, and I think even Vader instead of Chopper, for completing said challenges. Chopper really doesn't do much. He can dispel a taunt, but so can Ezra. So you can see all of these challenges are completely three-starred. Because you can see the sim uh, notification there. That all the fights are done. As far as my roster goes, I have four people at gear seven. We got Garazeb, we have Darth Vader. We also have Ezra. And we have Cannon Jar. So it's mostly Phoenix with Darth Vader at gear seven. Two pieces away from gear eight, which we can't even get. Until 59 and 64, so there's no point trying to upgrade that. Count Dooku also needs two epics in order to get up to gear 7, which I will do eventually. And you can see my Chopper and Hera are still only gear 6. I have them all modded, but now that I can farm whatever 3 star mods I want, hopefully we can get some better. Still have some abilities to upgrade. Now that I hit level 56, I have to get the basics up. I still have a lot of work to do on Hera specials, but... We're trying to do what we can with all the ability materials. So I've also farmed Kylo Ren on Mascus to help gear him up. He is currently gear 6 as well, but I need to continue working on the Phoenix so I can dominate Galactic War and go for the Sim. That way at level 85, it's not a giant pain in the ass. You can also see we unlocked Newt Gunray. Newt Gunray is also gear 6, and I stopped there because we need to work on the Phoenix and get them up to gear 7, before we do the same with the Separatists. So you can see we have the Genasian Soldier. We have Newt Gunray. We basically have all five Separatists. We even have the IG-100 Magna Guard. As we need five pieces of gear for that. In order to get him up to uh, gear four. But I'm not that worried about that yet. Because I'm not using a full Separatist team. I'm kind of using a hodgepodge team with Tarkin, Vader, and Dooku. Along with two other random characters. If I'm doing uh, Dark Side Battles, I think I'm actually using Ezra and uh, Garazeb just for utility. But you can see we also have Admiral Akbar Habibi, Mace Windu, Biggs Dark Lighter, we got unlocked, the IG-86 Sentinel Droid, Princess Leia, Sabine Wren is also unlocked. I haven't started working on her because I want to get all the other Phoenix to Gear 7 before I try to commit to the replacement for Chopper, who I am still farming the campaign for. As you can see, we have no more f refreshes, and I did 10 fights. Got a whopping one chart. We also pulled Tebow, and we just got the first order TIE pilot from the fleet battles. And I want to show you guys the progression within the event. So at level 56, we just got the fourth tier of training droids. And we three-started no problem courtesy of allies. 
As far as the events go, I cannot finish this fight until level 58. So we have a little bit of work to do there. But at level 60, we unlock unlock ship battles. And that's going to be another source of energy. And I hear another source of headaches. So a lot of people don't like doing ship battles. But I'm going to give it a try. We're going to see that. I am still working on my first 7 star being Garizim. Your other alternative is Pago the Lesser if you prefer that. But I don't recommend it. But yes, definitely get gears up to 7 stars as fast as you can. Keep in mind, <coughs> it's 330 shards to get a 7 star. And if you can get 15 shards a day, that is 22 days of grinding Galactic War and putting all your eggs into a character, you can get a 7 star. And this is the fastest way to do it because you can get... 15 shards a day. So if you can devote 22 days to Galactic War, you can get a 7 star. And so far we've been dominating with no issues. Now I feel after Garizeb, you can either go after Paga the Lesser. Another alternative in my opinion would be to go for uh, K2SO or even the Night Sister Initiative because there's other events that require it. And Cad Bane is actually a pretty good character as well. I hear Luminar is pretty crap. I don't know about the rest of the characters, but that is my progression for day 20. A total of zero dollars has left my hands. So I'm hoping that this little educational progression video will help you determine if you want to spend money or if you want to continue to be like me and go the free to play route where you're not spending money. 95% of my content is done online on streams. I know that some people are wondering why I don't send the battles. And the reason for that is I don't want our streams. I want the streams to be about three to four hours. As I feel that's enough time to communicate with the community. You guys can share your progression. You guys can also let me know what is going on with you. You can see we have three characters still bookmarked. Basil Sean, who I did refresh in the campaign and got a whopping zero shards. Uh, General Veers I'm also going to be working on as well. And finally... Uh, Juhani was another character that I was recommending to farm. Although, I haven't pushed this farm that much. It's still another character I was recommended to get. But, if you like this little 20-day progression video in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, getting a bunch of new characters as well as four gear tier 7s altogether, a single 5-star and several 4-stars, please give this video a like rating. Comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite. Check out my other Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes live streams, playlists, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show. My Instagram, which is Hollywood Show as God. And I'd like to thank Ben Solo's Ghost for waiting until my stream ended to kill the boss. But you can see that we ended up once again in 11th. That really sucks that I keep missing the top 10. But thank you guys all for watching. Have a wonderful day www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!